Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Muskan Psychology Network. Today let's delve into Freud's psychosexual stages and explore how fixations at these stages can shape personality traits in adults. If you want to skip to a particular point in the video, then all the timestamps are in the description down below. Now let's get into it. Freud theorized that infants passing through these stages could develop fixations if their needs are inadequately met. Oral stage, which is the first stage, revolves around oral satisfaction. Infants might develop an oral fixation if weaning, which is the gradual shift from breast or bottle feeding, occurs too early or too late or abruptly. Individuals fixated at this stage often exhibit excessive involvement in oral activities like eating, drinking or smoking. For some, this fixation might manifest in disorders like pika, which is an eating disorder. Overindulged infants might grow into adults with an overly dependent, optimistic and gullible personality, also called as oral passive personality. Conversely, neglect or underfeeding could lead to an oral aggressive or sadistic behavior marked by an excessive pessimism, hostility and argumentative tendencies. Coming to the second stage which is the anal stage. Fixations can arise from harsh or negligent toilet training. Those with an anal aggressive fixation display hostility, disorderliness and objectifying views of the others. In contrast, individuals with an anal retentive fixation tend to be stingy, hoarding possessions and have a compulsive behavior. Coming to the third stage, which is the phallic stage, unresolved conflicts during this stage might result in lingering issues like of that of uh, castration, anxiety, or penis envy, leading to strong narcissism in adulthood. This may cause frequent relationship changes without lasting satisfaction. Freud says that successful navigation through the previous stages usually result in smooth development in the latency and the genital stage. Latency stage focuses on non-sexual activities like sports and academics, while genital stage is marked by matured relationships. Individuals reaching psychological maturity if all the previous stages are passed successfully, resulting in psychological well-being. If you learned something new, then don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so that you keep getting notification whenever I upload a new video.